Sup guys, it's your boy Simpson back at again a brand new video and today ladies and gentlemen We're here with another boss hog boss hog part 2 if you will now of course I don't really do these unless there's a major change to the channel There is gonna be a major change to this channel. So let's go ahead and start right in with video scheduling now I'm not gonna lie Besides me, my primary, this has been something I've always been weak at. Well, it's because I've always been trying to do weekly content, which is dumb because I'm too small to be doing weekly content. And not to that, but even if I were big, it'd be like kind of cheaping you guys out of content, especially because I have beta things I can be doing. I have a lot of time, but I just don't utilize it. So, let's just say I got a little inspiration from a bride member. Uh, totally isn't the guy I'm at war with. <laughs> it's not that the boss. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> yeah. Anyways, I've realized that when it comes to him, I've well, let's start with me first. I've realized I've had one very big weakness, and that's fan engagement. Now, here's the thing. Going over all the weaknesses of the bread members, this is basically the content creators of the main group. If you don't know the main group, at least of my perspective, it's that boy JD, Captain Bow, me, Caleb, and DB. So, yeah. At the end of the day, oh my gosh, so tweaking. Either way, we know that this is the main group because we all make videos together. If this ever a bread video, it's going to be us five. I meant to say Shadow, not Caleb. But yeah, it's gonna be us five. So, out of all of us five, there's only three. Five. So, out of all of us five, there's only three of us with actual channels. That's, of course, JD, Vile, and me. I've realized that we all have different strengths and different weaknesses. Jason, JD, his strength is editing. His, I guess, weakness is, I guess, engagement, because he doesn't really, he's small, he's still double digit subscribers. You know him, he's not really I guess as popular as the, us, the other us two. You have Captain Vile, which his strengths are, of course, video scheduling, thumbnail making, I'm not saying Jason's bad at it, he's actually pretty good, and of course, fan engagement. My strength is watch time. I see that comparing the watch hours of everyone here, I have the best watch time for every individual video that I have compared to the other two. And I realized that I do have the power to keep you watching the video. I don't have the power to, I guess, keep my audience active in like comments, likes, shares. That's Vile's specialty right there because he's pretty much built a small but diehard fan base, which I really much respect. I'd rather have a big, I mean, I'd rather have a small diehard fan base than a big dead one. So I've realized that one of the problems that I have is video consistency. I don't post much. Every time I do post, it's going to be a random. And I did try to do daily content, but I've never really... I didn't execute it properly because I don't really take into fact that life situations... Like, I was posting daily and then I stopped for like a six days or something, like a week. If you wonder what happened then, my dad had skin condition. I didn't keep that in mind that bad things could happen. And of course, I wasn't able to upload for a week because I had no videos readily able to upload edit which I did on the fourth day but I was able to post one and the second one I wasn't able to because when I look back at the video let's just say there was three of us of course you know me Voltagita and the plus one you know how vile the plus one I'm not gonna say his name because he's not social media or anything like that he said a lot of things like don't get me wrong i've said things i could get me canceled hundreds of times over he's a different breed all right i knew that as soon as i post that video i would have to probably delete it almost immediately i'm sorry but the things that he said in that video was too vile for someone like me and I, you know what i say <laughs> you know like y'all know my content all too well you know that i could even I, some, if i can't go that far you know we can't be posted so, I had to scrap the first one. I mean, I had to scrap the... Uh, it was a stick fight video. I had to scrap that one. But I wasn't able to post speedrun runs because I was able to at least cut enough content and cut the things that he said enough to where it was actually at least publishable. That I was at least be like, I could go back and watch this and not be like, oh, I gotta delete this, you know? So, that's that. But what I'm here to say is that I'm here to basically upload every day now. Now, 
of course, I've looked at Captain Bob and I realized that he has his little game schedule thing. And uh, I'm totally not copying him by no means. No, this isn't a copying video. We know we're at war. You know, we can't we can't copy people now. I would say heavily inspired by him. Heavily inspired. All right, not copying. Heavily inspired. So, for me, we're gonna do this. Monday, I'm gonna reserve. Not for like me to hang out. No, I'm still gonna post on Mondays. But let's just say I have a very special project in the making. Let's just say, if you've been a long time for Simon Slayer fan, you should know that I only have one series on my channel, and I plan on reviving that series on its anniversary day. But I will be posting videos on Monday. Tuesdays are going to be reserved for I forgot how I have a I have a dog, guys. Let me read this. All right, three v three. Now three v three is a game I've always wanted to play on my channel. It's a basketball game, you know, all that. I never really had the time to actually play it. Well, I did have the time, but I was too busy focusing on other games to actually show it. So I've been basically blindsided by all the other games I normally play and all that. So I will be bringing 3 to the channel. Of course, Wednesdays are going to be for random games. These, well, I wouldn't say random. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do a poll every Wednesday. And I'm gonna give you guys a few choices. I say no more than four choices of games. It depends on how I really feel about what game I wanna play. And you guys will be able to choose which game I play for that day. The video with the most view with the vote with the most view with the most votes or the video idea with the most votes is the one I'm gonna be doing for that day. I will be posting one today, by the way, because I, I wanna do these weeks in advance. Thursdays are going to be meant for Dragon Ball Fighters. Yes, we are bringing it back. It was a view powerhouse back in my prime age, and I'm not letting that go. <laughs> and two, I've always been a fighting FPS guy, so, I mean, can't really have all of this without a fighting game, you know? It, it doesn't make sense. Number Friday, I said, I'm about to say number five. No, number Friday. I just said that shit twice. Oh, shit. No, Friday are going to be meant for Fall Guys. Now, it's been, it was a coin toss between Fortnite or Fall Guys, most because it starts to learn F, you know? But I've realized, I feel like I get definitely more content out of Fall Guys than I do Fortnite. Of course, Fortnite will be in the random game polls, so I will be having that as an all-time, as long, along with Super Smash Bros. So, keep, don't keep, do keep that in mind, but Fall Guys is going to be meant for that, because I do need a niche game. That like nobody really paid attention to, or again that people did pay attention to, that's kind of died off. That I kind of want to play still. And Fall Guys has always been that game where it's like I've always wanted to play it like a lot, but I've never really had time to. I keep saying don't have time. I have the time. It's just I don't feel like playing it because of all the other games that I have. So it'd be it'd be a fun excuse of me to play it. Next we have Split Gate Saturday. Ever since just told me about this game, I was always skeptical about it. Once I've actually played it. For, for the first time, at least, I kind of didn't like it because I just saw it as a cheap knockoff at Halo. And then I started liking it. And now I just want to keep playing it on my channel because I have a whole bunch of clips stored for the, from the Flaygate video. I have not posted them on YouTube. I have posted them on TikTok at Simon the Slayer Part 2 because my first account got banned. But I don't know. It, it's a sick game. I love it. It's Halo enough for me to play. And. And last but not least, we'll have Splatoon Sunday. Now, of course, I will always have to do this switch because, I mean, Nintendo has never been my home. I mean, Sega has always been my childhood. And Xbox 360 is way more valuable to me than my Wii. Or, yeah, what my, my was Wii at the time. But for the most part, I need to at least have a Nintendo Switch game because I love my Nintendo Switch. I do plan on getting OLED when I get enough money too, so keep that in mind. But for the most part, I will be rocking the classic Switch because, you know what I'm saying? I actually did give my old Switch away to DB. He will say he's going to try repairing it himself. If that's the case and everything works fine and he gets Switch online, we could make videos. But for the most part, I do want to, I, I would say for, I, I, when I made this list, I did it, I forgot that to put um, Smash Bros on the list. So, I just decided to put it on the random game and just keep Splatoon here because I was thinking, out of Splatoon and Smash Bros, 
Which one do I play more? You'd think, with all the amiibos I have, I have a crap ton of them, that Smash Bros. would be the answer. But once I figured out, once I got kicked out of school, well, kicked out of my first high school, I can't really say that. I can't say the name, but I'm not going to. If you've been to school with me, you know what school I got kicked out of. You can leave it in the comments if you want to. I'll, I'll know it's not coming out of my mouth. For the most part, ever since I got kicked out of there and I got basically separated from the boys, aka Bread, or at least most of the Bread members, because I'm not going to get into that, I stopped playing Smash altogether. I'm sorry, but Smash wasn't... Uh, there was no need to bring my Switch to school every day now because I was separated from the people I played Smash with. The people that I played at my other high school, which is literally rival high schools, which is crazy, but once I played, went over there, they're more of like, I say, more of a, less, a more intro, extroverted school. So, of course, with more extrovert based means more PlayStation, Xbox, less Switch. Even though on the last day of school, I realized that a lot of people had Switches, and we all decided to bring our Switches together and play some Mario Kart and some Smash. It was a pretty W day. But, of course, I didn't know nobody had a Switch at the time, and being the one main only Switch kid is kind of cringe. I'm not going to lie. Like, <laughs> look, I have a PlayStation 5. I have an Xbox. I had these after. Well, I had the Xbox One before the Switch, and I had the PlayStation 5 after, but I play the PlayStation still more anyways. That's a damn lie. Ever since I got the computer, I stopped playing the Switch, all meant the PlayStation and the Switch, but only stopped playing the Switch because it was broken. I got a whole new one now, so you know what I'm saying? All that, so. Since I have I'm an adult now, I have free time besides work and not work and school. I should have the time in my day to be able to pump out these daily. And of course I will be pre-recording some videos because of course Making a video, a brand new video every single day is something I know I don't have the time for. But maybe for now, I do. But I do have work soon because I have a new job now, which is going to be part time going to full time soon, like very like quickly. So I know I won't have the time to just pump out a brand new video every single day. I know I have to pre record some and then edit it and then upload later because, again, Jason is the skilled expert at editing. I know he won't edit my videos, so I mean, it is is it is what it is. I I'd rather tell you guys the truth now than just lie later, or not lie, but like keep it hidden from y'all. But yeah, that's gonna be our new schedule, and that next thing on the list of changes, I will be adding more music. Now, of course, you've been probably noticing in the last few videos that I've been getting better with music and all that. Like back in my live stream era, I was just taking a Sonic playlist pacing it and then letting that play the whole video but again as you can see for the last recent videos i've actually been finding the songs and then getting them in the videos i'm actually so grateful that sega doesn't copyright their music which is one of the main reasons why sonic is and just sega in general is so close to my heart because they allow the fans to actually use their stuff without having to just give them the ultimate band hammer like let's say nintendo does or sony or xbox so it, it's nice to know that of course uh oh my god so i have something in my throat pause but i will be getting more music because i've been playing this fame two songs every time and i was like okay we got we need more music so i will be finding more music especially like classic music because i do i do realize that one of my favorite songs chemical plant zone two or probably zone one i think it's zone two is completely gone from my thing and i'm like that's literally my favorite sonic song and i don't know why that's not even there so i will be downloading that soon and editing some of my videos i will be adding more classical music 8-beat music and if you have any other rec music recommendations let me know and i'll go ahead and you know put that into that and for now that's gonna be it I do have a thing because you know the the logo Simioid. I will be going into a creature like envelopment because I've always had like a thing with like making Simioid an actual like thing. Well, I'm not make it. It's already been a thing, but I never really gave it shit the idea to y'all. I know I posted on my Instagram story. It's been a creature of mine to like 2018, which is actually during the time I decided to actually make YouTube seriously. Yeah, because, yeah, it's 2018 is definitely why I took YouTube seriously. And I've always had similar ideas since that time. Of course, you know Captain Vile has the violins. 
and knowing that video, you saw the Simioids, but that's his version, not the official version. I've already had the idea for years on end. I'll go ahead and post a little bit of a, what they look like right here. Probably not going to be right here, you know, it's editing, gang shit. But that's basically what it looks like. I will be going into detail what it is, and of course, all of its capabilities and stuff later, but for the most part, that's going to be just a little bit of a tidbit. And for now, that's going to be it. Thank you for listening to this boss talk number two. Hope you guys have a good day. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.